people. You know what? You, you're, you're in for trouble. And, uh, you know, you don't want to go to state's prison with your Justin Bieber haircut. Okay? okay. It's not going to work. Everybody, because I love you guys. But, ow, that didn't feel good. I don't know why she just threw that at me. I love you. <laughs> Tell me where the freaks at My name is James Parker. Uh, I'm suing the defendant Jesse for medical bills and pain and suffering because he brutally attacked me at a gas station. He hit me in the head with a wine bottle when my back was turned. So I had to go to the ER and get 14 stitches. My name is Jesse Holker. James and his friends are the ones that came after me that night. I used the bottle of wine to protect myself. I feel I acted in self-defense. I don't owe him anything. James Parker is suing Jesse Holker, the defendant, for pain and suffering as well as medical bills due to an assault. Now, uh, James, the two of you were total strangers until February of 2010 when an encounter at a local gas station uh, apparently, according to you, turned into a vicious attack. Uh, you claim that uh, the defendant instigated a fight with you and your friends and then ended up hitting you with a bottle of wine? Yes. All right. And you mentioned the defendant had been drinking that night. And uh, had you been drinking? No, ma'am. All right. Now, uh, Jesse, you deny being drunk, which I hope is the case since you're 19 years old. <laughs> but let me ask you, uh, where'd you get the bottle to allegedly hit him in the head with if you weren't drinking? I got it from one of my friends before I went into work that day. Why would you get a bottle of wine before you go into work? It was for when I got off of work. And my friends were going to go to the strip club. Hang out and drink. Go to the strip club on top of it. All right. Um, how old are you today as you stand before me? 20. All right. And you were 19 at the time of this? Yes, Your Honor. Do you know that it's illegal for you to drink alcohol? Yes, Your Honor. Do you know it's illegal to buy alcohol? Yes. Do you know it's illegal for the person who gave you that alcohol to give it to you? Yes. All right. So already you're on the dark side of the, uh, the list. You realize Yeah. That? Okay. What do you do? Um, I worked at Wendy's at the time that this happened. But what are you doing today? Are you working? I, yeah. I have a job. I work at Burger King. Good. All right. Now, James, how is it that you end up meeting the defendant, Jesse? Um, like it was at, at Come and Go gas station. Um, just me and my friends, we all decided to uh, go there and get something to eat, something to drink. I go to the back of the store. Uh, my friends are at the front of the store waiting for me. And at the front of the store, I hear a commotion. And it's, I guess you would say it's a high rate tone. Um, I go to the front of the store, I see my friend and Jesse confront one another. They're exchanging words, um, violent words, about, you know, fighting. What are you fighting about, Jesse? Well, my friend Brian, he was in the store, and he told the worker there that he thought maybe they might be stealing something because he said they were acting sketchy. And one of his friends heard that and confronted my friend Brian. And then I came in there and got involved, and pretty much it came. We both said, let's just go outside and fight over All it. All right. So your friend goes to the owner of the store, someone working at the gas station, and says they look sketchy. Yeah. And they, they may be holding up the store or stealing something. What does he allege? Just, just say that they might be stealing something. Okay. So his friend reacts to that and basically says, you accusing me of something? And then what happens? We Pretty much. With brilliant kids. <laughs> <laughs> There's an argument, and then it just both sides were... We and all, then you want to take it outside. Yeah, just uh, you want to fight, then let's just well, go outside. Well, why do you want to fight over <laughs> the thought that his friend may want to steal a candy bar or a hamburger from this place? Who are you, the cops? <laughs> well, I don't get it. I didn't mean anything by that. <laughs> no, what I meant was, you know, are they going to monitor it? Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, not like the cops fight. <laughs> all right, so... What's the next thing that you hear, James? Well, when I went, out to, I went to, I immediately to the front of the store with, with the items, and I saw them both go at it. You know, not going at it, but just exchanging words. I just broke it up. I was playing the peacemaker, I guess you could say. I said, we don't want any trouble. All right, so you break up this, this no, fight. No, he did not break it he up. He did not. No, he was the one to come outside. When I asked the other kid to come outside and fight, he was the one to come outside first and come up to me. Why do you want to fight? <laughs> I have no idea. Were you drinking that night? No, I was not drinking that night. I just got well, off of work. Well, what'd you do right? with that bottle of wine? It was full. I mean, it was full. It was not uncorked. Did I you have just, a beer? No, I didn't have anything in the car. Whose car was it? It was my car. 
How can you afford a car? Because I worked. Because you work. You're 19, you work, you got a car, and you got a bottle of wine. You're ready to, <laughs> ready to cook. <laughs> All right, so you go outside. You tell me what happens next, James. Sure. I just told him to go outside without any trouble. Um, he said, yeah, we'll, we'll take this outside. You know. Never talked to me inside the store. He didn't. All right, go ahead. But um, I told him I'll go outside. So we all go outside, and he pulls up in his, in his car, gets out, and says, you want to throw down right here? I said, no, I do not want any confrontation. I don't want any, anything to do with you. Who gets in the car? No. You no. said he got in the car? No, yeah, he, he went outside. He, he, he goes outside and goes to his car. Mm -hmm. What do you do, wait for him to get out of the car? No, he just got, he pulled up in, in his car, came out, confronted me, and said, you want to throw down right here? We, we'll just sell this now. I said, I don't want anything to do with you. If you don't get out of here, I'm calling the police. No. And then, then I, th I thought it was over. He, he walked away, and I walked away. He was uh, the that, one that, that come up mistake. to me. Hold on. Go ahead. That Go was ahead, my James. mistake. I turned my back. Next thing I know, I hear footsteps coming towards me. I get popped. Uh, what do you mean you get popped? With what? Uh, with, uh, with a wine bottle. I get hit in the head. You got hit in the head with a wine bottle? Yes, ma'am. Was it an empty bottle of wine? It felt full. <laughs> It, no, it was, it, it was a red wine bottle. Um, I couldn't tell if it was full or not, but it was cap. It was he hit me with the cap of the bottle. It, it was like the, a bottle of red, a bottle of fight, instead of a bottle of fight. Tell me what happened. Uh, I walked outside. I got into my car, and I started to pull out, and that's when James walked outside towards Where's me. your friend who goes He's to the uh, restaurant, to the gas you, station people, and says they're, they're going to cause trouble? Where's your friend? He is in my car at that point sure we're leaving is. and he he didn't get out but he came into my car we got and we we're starting to pull away right james comes outside with his friends following and he comes up and puts his hands up he has two bags in his hands and puts his hands up at me so i get out the car and i was like all right what and he's like all right so, so you, you put the car in park and yeah. you get out of the car and i walked up to him and then when i walked up to him his three friends came out too they so, were 10 feet behind me no they were walking up too so i pulled out a wine bottle and said, all right, then... So you put the car in park, you get out of the car, then you go grab the wine bottles in the back seat, according to your testimony so far. Yeah. So you have to open the back seat now, no. you get the wine bottle out, and then you follow them and you bop them with a full bottle of red wine? I Talk about a waste of wine. But why are you doing that? <laughs> why are you hitting him? Where did he hit you? Um, right behind my right ear. That's what I thought. In the back of the head. That's not manly. In fact, that's cowardly. Yeah. You never hit anybody from the back. All right. Oof. Yeah, I'll have is just a picture of, uh, of, of the uh, accident today. Uh, All right. Stitches? Uh, about 14, yes. You proud of yourself? No. Did you ever apologize to him? No. Did he come at you other than with the bags of hamburgers? He came at me, and then when I pulled out the wine bottle, I said, if you guys really coming at me with all your friends... Why didn't you just drive off? Your friend is the one making the accusation. You're in the car, and you've got the bottle of wine. You can't wait to fight. You ever been in a fight before? No, ma'am. I don't think you have been either. That's just my <laughs> instincts. All right? Next time you want to go to Gash and Bash, make a decision. Go to somebody's house. Who are you? Oh, I am Christy Parker. I'm his sister. I wasn't there. I just witnessed the... Um, the injury. Death. You're here to tell me he's got injury? All right. Yes. Yeah. So. Your, what kind of guy is your brother? Oh, he is a good guy. He is very sweet. You know, he's very well-mannered. What do you want to do, James, with your life? Well, um, I want to be a network engineer. I'm going to school for that right now. I'm you are? Where are you in school? I go to Kaplan University. I'm a full-time student, and I work part-time at Hubble Realty doing mm -hmm. tech support. You think you did anything to instigate this? No, ma'am. I didn't provoke him in any way. All right, thank you. And your name, sir? My name is Danny Hudson. Hi, Danny Hudson. What's in your ears? Gages. Why do you guys do that? Sexy. To <laughs> whom? I don't know. I get those well, girls. You, like girls walk up to you and say, you know, hit on me. You're beautiful with that stuff in your yeah, ears. I always what? want to touch them and pull on them. So get good. yourself a dog. They want to touch and, you know, pull on the dog, too. Yeah, I guess. Does, does that mean the holes in your ears are now see? huge forever? You want to see? Yeah, why not? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I don't. I'm. Tr I'm not being judgmental. I'm. <laughs> I don't. Know, I like them. I think they're cool. Hey, like if you, if you need a free hand, you can hang stuff in your ears. No, I can. I really can. Actually, <laughs> I can. It's true. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, so what do you want to say, Danny? All right, I'm the one that dropped off the accuser, Brian, the one that made accusations about his friends. Yeah. I dropped him off, and I was heading out. I didn't hear, like, the argument on the inside, but I saw when I was pulling away, and I stopped, I looked in the rear view, and I saw he was, like, talking to, like, three of these guys, and they're all just like, oh, I thought they were just, you know, just having a good conversation until something went wrong. He grabbed a wine bottle, and the kids were like, you see, did hands. you hear what he just said? Something went wrong. <laughs> he is I, so particular. Sit down, Danny. Oh he is God. so particular oh about everything. God. Something went wrong. He had to grab the <laughs> wine bottle. You're suing for medical bills and pain and suffering. Are you convicted, Jesse, of yes, this? Yes, I was convicted. You were convicted. That means that this case has been proven beyond a reasonable doubt. The only question is how much money he gets for injuries. All right? And I hope nobody bops you from behind with a full bottle I of didn't, wine. Not, yeah. All right? What? You didn't bop him? I didn't hit him from behind. He was face to face. Well, with what did me. he do? Spin his head like the uh, exorcist he and so that it was in the way? He, I think he turned his head when I hit him. I'm not sure. Yeah, he probably turned his head because he heard footsteps coming up from behind him. You see, Jesse, you lost. You lost. You <laughs> lost. All right? Your friend started the commotion. This guy's got a couple of paper bags. You get in the car, you get out of the car, you bop him with a wine bottle. You know what? You, you, you're, you're in for trouble. And, uh, you know, you don't want to go to state's prison with your Justin Bieber haircut, okay? <laughs> it's not going to work. So, the issue for the court is very simple. How much money do you get for pain and suffering? Mm -hmm. I have medical bills here in the amount of $1,115. Now, I could give you $1,115, but I'm not going to, and I'll tell you why. I know, you probably wanted the money. <laughs> the insurance company paid for it. Mm -hmm. You paid $150. Yeah. If I were to give you $1,115, and I'd love to because he should pay every penny <laughs> mm -hmm. for your medical bills. But if I were to give it to you, the insurance company that covered you would then turn around and sue you for that money. Because it's their money right now. It's not yours. Right. The only money you're out is $150. Mm -hmm. Now... You're also suing for pain and suffering in the amount of $3,885. Mm -hmm. um, what I think is amazing is that the Polk County attorney says that a restitution order was filed for $257 payable to the Crime Victims Comp Board. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding? They convict him of assaulting you and they give the Comp Board $250. <laughs> so much for government. Yeah. <laughs> you are getting $3,500. Use it for school. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>